Have you ever had that feeling that your old browser just isn't cutting it anymore? Tabs everywhere, slow search speeds, and the artificial intelligence features feeling more like a gimmick than a truly useful tool. That's exactly what attracted my attention to Neo. I am Daniel, welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. Today we will take a deep dive into Neo, the world's first browser fully built around artificial intelligence. We will explore its main features, see how it fits into your workflow, and test the tools that make coding faster and smarter. It's not just a browser, it's your personal companion that can learn from you and help you stay focused at every step. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Friends, before we dive in, just a quick note. Neo is a completely free AI-powered browser, and it comes with Norton-level privacy and security. Neo's privacy isn't just a marketing gimmick, it's built right into its architecture. You can always see exactly which data stays local and which goes to the cloud, and every summary clearly shows its source, so you know it's credible. When you clear your data, it's truly deleted. Nothing is hidden or archived. Data is kept only for the minimum necessary time, and each tab is isolated to keep your sessions private and secure. Neo treats privacy as a core design principle, not an optional setting. All right, mates, let's delve deeper. Unlike traditional browsers that merely add AI as an extra feature, this tool is fully built around artificial intelligence, integrating it directly into your workflow. Many of its features are truly revolutionary. Let's start with the home screen. In the center, you'll see the magic bar, the core of the platform, surrounded by a minimalist yet elegant interface. Guys, in the magic bar, you can search for information, chat with CI and perform operations. All functions are integrated in one place. In the sidebar, you'll find the main tools, including browsing history and activity records from the last seven days. All designs are intended to help you work more efficiently and stay organized. Now, everyone, let's take a look at how this tool actually works. Imagine you need to learn about a new topic, for example, neural networks. You open your browser and type in basics of neural networks. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary Google search, but this is where Neo takes it a step further. When you hover over an article, it displays built-in AI tools. The first tool is called Peek. It allows you to preview without opening the page. You can quickly determine whether a page is worth your time. The second tool is Summary, which allows the browser to summarize the content behind the link for you. It will immediately generate a clear and concise summary for you. Everyone can also highlight any text segment and then ask Neo to explain it. Subsequently, the AI will directly provide a brief and easy-to-understand explanation on the page. This is suitable for learning or quick research. Now let's try out the Typing Assistant feature. Suppose you're taking notes and want to create a learning summary. You open the Note Taking app, bring up the Typing Assistant and ask it to write learning notes on the basics of neural networks. When you click Start, it will immediately generate a complete set of notes for you. In snippets, the AI gives you a whole range of helpful categories, from understand all the way to write, message and more. Everything is organized so you can quickly find exactly the tool you need without breaking your flow. In Understand, you can summarize, ask it to explain like I'm five, or quickly check the pros and cons of any topic. The tool even lets you add extra details or make your notes shorter or longer. It really feels like having a personal tutor sitting right beside you, guiding you every step of the way. After clicking Accept, your notes will be ready for use. The same applies to emails. You can ask the typing assistant to help you write a professional email to your teacher, requesting a more detailed explanation of neural networks. It can compose messages for you in seconds, using the tone you choose. All you need to do is add the subject, recipient, and then send. This is a great time saver for both students and professionals. You can also directly ask Neo programming questions on the magic page. For example, you can enter best practices for React use effect hook. The AI will immediately show you key insights and even provide usable code examples. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! It's an amazing tool for developers and anyone learning to code. 
And this is just the tip of the iceberg of NEO's capabilities. It also comes with a built-in ad blocker, personalized newsfeed, and intelligent reminder features. Folks, this AI-powered assistant automatically learns from your browsing habits and adapts to your work style. It helps you stay focused and productive effortlessly. Most importantly, it is not only compatible with Mac like many other tools, but also with Windows. Alright folks, let's wrap this up. This is Neo, a browser that not only displays websites, but also learns from your habits and adapts to your workflow. It helps you complete tasks faster and more efficiently. From instant summaries and peak previews to typing assistance and AI coding support, it is designed to make your online life simpler and more efficient. If you want to be one of the first testers, join the waitlist. The link is right below. In the meantime, join NEO's Discord community. There you can get updates, exclusive previews, and exchange ideas and feedback with a group of early adopters. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and till next time.